This weekend on the C10 build, we're doing slosh tubs. So I picked up a set of uh, slosh tubs from slosstubs.com. And really nice, has a nice curve to it. And um, this is gonna allow me to actually drop the truck on the ground. They also sell this kit right here, which is, that's for the firewall. These are panels for the firewall to smooth out the firewall. And then there's these pieces right here for each of the fender to go around the slosh tub. So let's look at what that looks like. We got this slosh tub in fitted to the fender and today we're going to be getting the other fender and the other slosh tub installed so this is basically what it's going to look like when the slosh tub is done and these two panels are actually welded back in down here on the underside i needed more room for my tire so what i've done is the slosh tub i've trimmed it a little bit to sit on top of this lip after I've cut out the inner fender. All right, so we got the saw stuff fitted in and it looks like there's still a little area we need to cut right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my painter's mark just right here, right along here. So we can cut this bit out. And we should clean that right there. There we go. Always better to cut a little at a time than not overcut. After we're done cutting the fender to fit the slosh tub, it's really important that we blow out all of this metal, all the metal shavings from grinding and cutting. If you leave that in there and don't blow it out, it'll end up trapped inside the fender and it can cause rust and problems down the road. It's a really good idea to really get in there and clean that out. Okay, so now we got the slosh tub fit into place after uh, cutting out the, the fender. And I wanna show you that right here, I'm gonna be cutting this lip right here. I really need, I really need the slosh tub to move as high as possible. I'm gonna cut this right here and it's gonna end up looking like this. When I cut this right here, and then I can use these bolt holes by folding this. Okay, so we're back. So after fitting the slosh tub, made a couple of changes that I like a little bit better. So if you remember, we were going to bolt it in these locations. I got another bolt right here. These two bolt locations, I was gonna make a third one. 
and you would see this. I've got these clips, these clip nuts right here that I was going to just put right here. I didn't really like how that looked, so I wanted to change it up so you don't see that. You don't see any of it. So the new plan is we've now welded in three nuts, which basically was this. And those little, there was already three holes right here. I just made those holes slightly bigger, put the nut inside the hole and just welded it in. After I got those nuts welded in, the plan is to put the slosh tug back here, run the bolt. The bolt will then pull the metal right where we want it. And then we'll come back in and weld up those cuts. After the cuts are welded up, then we'll put in a little bit of sheet metal and close all this up so this will all be smoothed out. Now on the other side, there was, we cut it right here so we can split this open so I can get the slosh tub to fit into here. Right now, the slosh tub, it has all these holes all pre-drilled. All five of these are all pre-drilled and ready to go. The bolts that were supplied by slosh tub are these right here. Uh, they didn't come with any uh, nuts, just these bolts right here. And these are fine, but while I was at uh, the swap meet, the uh, nut and bolt guy was there. So I actually picked up a bunch of these. Now this bolt has a larger, has a washer built onto it. Let me give you an example. If we just use a regular bolt right here, then I gotta run a fender washer. And man, I really don't think that's a good look. So we're gonna run this version right here. That's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the slosh tub. And if you were to look inside here, you're gonna have this bolt with the washer already on it. So that's what we're going for. We decided to use these instead of the provided slosh tub. And then for all of the nuts that we welded in, in all five locations, we use these serrated nuts right here. All right, now I got the slosh tub temporarily fitted back onto the fender. And looks like these bolts right here are lining up real nice. And let me show you how we're doing it. You could see why I cut the tabs. So as I bolt these in, the tab itself is gonna line up with the bolt. And as that lines up with the bolt right there, then we're gonna weld that in. We're gonna weld that back in on all of these. And then this one right here, which I still gotta get it bolted, all right? On this side, <clears throat> We welded in the plate, we welded in the nuts, and what we have is we have our bolts. See how they're starting to go in at an angle right here. We wanna correct that. So what I'm gonna do is on the back side right here, on the back side as we're coming into both of the welded nuts, I'm gonna make a slice right here. I'm gonna cut this right here. I'm gonna fold this up so I can correct the angle of these two nuts, and then I'll just add another piece of metal right into here and that should correct that. I'm trying to make sure that I get all the tension off of the slosh tub and off of the fiberglass by making these corrections right here. Okay, so we're back on the fender and this is what I had to do. I had to split. I had to split the inner fender right here to allow for those welded nuts to fall straight to line up with the bolts. So if you look closely here, see the two welded nuts and on this side right here, right? The bolts, they're lining up straight. These two right here, they're straight up. So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and tack a little bit of metal in here, grind this down, body work it, and this is gonna look, you'll never know that I did any of that. On this side, three bolts are lining up pretty good. We have these tabs right here. So same concept, got the nut welded in. I've got the tabs cut. I put the bolts in. The tab starts to move towards the bolt, lining up with the bolt. Now I can come back in here and start to tack these into position. Once they're tacked, then I can finish body working this with metal and welding all this nice and closed, making all these custom bolt locations for the slosh tub.
Now that I've cut off the inner fender, it's time to start mocking up the hood hinges. I've got a factory replacement hood hinge, and now that it's bolted in, you can see that we've now lost this bolt location for this hood hinge. So what we need to do is we need to obviously trim this bracket to allow for the hood hinge to fit. So what I've done is just gone right underneath here and marked it. Now we can pull it off, we can cut this, we can get this into the truck, and then we can check for clearances for the hood hinge and make some adjustments. Now that I have the slosh tubs in, the passenger side slosh tub right there, all I need to do is push the slosh tub up. There's a bolt hole down there that I'm gonna use to mount the slosh tub to the cab. Over on this side, uh, not the same. So the bolt location on this side, I actually had to remove it. Kind of hard to see, but here it is right here. I had to remove this this just sat too far off of the cab and wouldn't allow the fender to line up. And this actually uh, obstructed the fender and the slosh tub from being installed by about, I wanna say maybe a 16th or an eighth of an inch. So this is removed, I'll get underneath there, I'll tack weld this back in. And right now you can see that the slosh tub is fitting really nice. We've got good gaps. I'm very happy with where this is going. Uh, this obviously is dented in. I'm gonna have to fix this firewall right here for my bulkhead, but uh, looks like there's plenty of room. There's this indentation right here for my bulkhead, my wiring harness that comes out here. So if I still choose to use this bulkhead right here and run my wires to my engine, uh, there's enough room for that. But I've also been considering running my wire inside the fenders, but uh, I haven't really made that decision just yet. But so far, it's looking pretty good and I'm gonna keep you posted. Okay, so now we're back and I've got the front end bolted in and lined up and now I want to drop the truck and I want to check for tire clearances for the slosh tub. So let's drop the truck. Do this slowly, make sure we're not hitting anything. Okay. Looks like I still got clearance underneath there. Looks like I got clearance underneath there. Okay, that's good. And then I want to make sure that the Nothing's gonna rub right here. Okay, I still got plenty of clearance right there. All right, let's drop it on the ground. Wow, that really tucks it up in there. All right, let me put my hand underneath here. Oh yeah, we are almost touching almost touching the top of these slosh tubs but it's kind of a false positive because right now i got the tires on the go jacks so the tires you know got an inch off the ground maybe a little less overall i gotta say the slosh tubs they look beautiful i really like these slosh tubs it was well worth all the work and effort put in to get these to mount in their right and bolt up just the way i wanted it to bolt up again this is how i did it this is how I wanted them to bolt in and just want to show you what I did to get them installed the way I wanted. The things that I like about this lost is that it's nice and round. It curves out real nice right here. And I like that it actually swoops a little further to the back of the cab. I think this is going to look really nice, especially when I have the big block 4, 454 in here. I think this is going to look really nice. All the other options that are out there for doing inner fenders, uh, some of them are pretty cool, but it really wasn't the look that I was going for. So I chose these. Now they weren't cheap. They're about $800 plus shipping to get them out here. And I also picked up the uh, panels for the firewall and the panels for the inner fenders to kind of close that up and make this engine bay look really nice.